the only female aspirant in the race for the speakership of the 10th House of Representatives, Miriam Onoha, has urged the federal government to declare a state of emergency on the dwindling number of women in the parliament for equity and inclusivity. The lawmaker who is representing Okigwe North in Yuma State made the call in Abuja during a declaration of interest for the office of speaker of the 10th Legislative Assembly. She says, I imagine the speaker will usher in pragmatic solutions to the current challenges of national cohesion, as well as preferring a new legislative agenda for addressing the current issues of the nation's dwindling economy. Something drastic, something del deliberate has to be done to ensure that the number of women participation in politics is increased. We are all aware that the last election witnessed low turnout. Low turnout owing to the fact partly that women who largely control the votes might have been cut out owing to the fact that they are poor, there is poor inducement of their fellow women to vote. And even with the small numbers that came out, over 60 percent of the voters have been proved to be women. How best and how est can this Nigerian teeming Nigerian female voters be rewarded if not by electing a woman on the presiding seat of the National Assembly and the House of Representatives, in particular, as to be a thank you for standing in the sun, mm -hmm. for standing in the rain, for daring the dead devils, for daring those who said there will be no election. Whereas women came out in their numbers to give everybody votes, including the men. It is not possible for a man to speak for us on issues that bother women when we have credible and qualified women like myself. I am ranking. I am also of the All Progressives Congress. I qualify and I suitably am able to ice all the men on this contest. And like you are aware, in almost all, uh, about 90 positions of this country, the men have dominated it. Seeding this one position, to me, will be a way of proving that we are running an inclusive government.